One thief hitting multiple banks, that could be considered unusual, but a female serial bank robber is definitely rare. Police in Sugarland and Houston believe that's what they're dealing with tonight. One woman who may be behind as many as three recent bank heists. Channel 2's Robert Arnold live at the Sugarland PD headquarters tonight with the connection that police department is making about this. Robert? Well, the FBI believes that three bank robberies in the past week are connected to the same man and woman. The latest robbery was this morning at a Compass Bank on Eldridge Parkway at Briar Forest. A woman walks in, slides the teller a note that reads she has a gun and demands money. Sugarland police say the description of the woman from this morning's robbery matches the description of a woman who robbed a Chase Bank on Thursday on Sweetwater Boulevard. Surveillance video from that robbery shows the woman wearing a wide brim hat with black sunglasses. She slides the teller a note and she's very calm while she waits for the money. She never says a word. She looks to have some type of word tattooed on her shoulder. Now, police believe this woman is a Hispanic woman in her late 20s, around 5'1", 140 pounds. Sugarland police say it was today that Houston police called them to say the woman seen on that video matches the description of the woman who robbed the bank on Thursday, or excuse me, this morning. We want to get them off the streets. Um, they're going in in broad daylight, 11.15 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There's people in the bank doing normal bank business. So we don't want to see anybody get hurt. Now, in addition to the bank robberies on Eldridge Parkway and Sweetwater Boulevard, a third bank in the 10,800 block of Bel Air was robbed on Friday. In that case, though, it was a man who was the robber. However, the reason investigators think all three are connected is because the man was wearing the same wide-brimmed hat the woman was seen wearing. Also, all of these robberies are carried out in the same manner. A note that reads that the robbers have a gun, but no gun is ever shown. And so far, no one has been hurt in any of these robberies. If you do know anything about these crimes, please contact either HPD, the Sugarland Police Department, or the FBI. Reporting live from Sugarland, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.